Hey, what's going on, Underwear Crew? How you doing today? I hope you're feeling festive because the DBD Christmas event called the Bone Chill event has returned to the fog. During this event, you can earn up to 22 free cosmetics for just playing and doing challenges. So let's get into the info about the cosmetics and how long the event lasts. The Bone Chill event will run from December 14th to January 4th. So get as much as you can done before the event ends. To earn some of these cosmetics, you need to do some of the event with challenges, and completing these challenges will give you blood points and rift fragments like usual, but also give you the new Frosty Trinkets currency. Frosty Trinkets is the currency that will be available during the event to use for the cosmetics. Let it be known that if you have any leftover Frosty Trinkets at the end of the event, they will be converted to blood points, but I'm assuming since last event they gave you all the Frosty Trinkets you needed to buy every cosmetic, if you end up buying all the cosmetics and completing all the challenges, you're not going to have any leftover anyway, but it's still worth being known. The first page of the roof is all that's available right now, and there are currently four survivor challenges, four killer challenges, and three challenges that can be done on either side. Along the track of the rift, there's also two bonus packs of Frosted Trinkets as well, so make sure you grab those. If you complete all the challenges, you will have a total of 210 Frosty Trinkets. There's also a bonus that you get for completing the challenges on the way to the other side of the rift like normal, and that is an extra 175 Frosty Trinkets for a grand total of 385 Frosty Trinkets to spend in the first week. There's also five milestone rewards you get, and you earn them as you buy more items. You earn one of these five items at 3, 6, 9, 12, and 17 items bought, respectively. Moving on into the gameplay, there's also some snow skulls that are basically snowballs around the map, and you, when you throw them at the survivor or killer, you get some blood points, and it flashes their screen with some frost. The snowmen are back as well for both survivors and killers to jump inside them, and you can sneak around the map, but it also slows you, and killers getting undetectable. Another new feature that is related to the snowmen is, the snowmen will sometimes jump scare you, so be on the lookout for that. Last thing that's gameplay related is that the Christmas party starters are back in the blood web, so stack up on those if you're a collector like me. I just like to have a stockpile of everything, even though I never end up using them. Moving over to the store, Chucky and Ellen Ripley both have ugly sweater cosmetics that are 250 Oryx cells each. Yui, Jane, and Nurse also got a brand new set of cosmetics that are on sale for 1080 Oryx cells each. And in my opinion, they all look great. In the closing of this video, I'd like to remind you guys that if you have not used the thank you for 60M code in the store, use it. It gives you a million blood points and 6,000 iridescent shards. There is also a daily rewards calendar going on for the month of December that is on screen now. If you can only hit one of them, I recommend that you at least try to get on the game on Christmas because that's the biggest reward of the month. Set a reminder in your phone or something because each day is something for free and why not get something free, you know? Here are the four perks that are available in the shrine for this week. I recommend you grab Nowhere to Hide and Overcharge if you don't already have them. And that's going to be the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the event in the comments below. And remember to stay spooky. Peace.